Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome back to Kids Matter. In today's story, we're going to open our Bibles, go to Daniel chapter 3, and learn more about the story of Daniel. In the previous lesson, we learned about Nebuchadnezzar's dream. In today's story, we want to learn about Daniel's three friends taking a stand for God. Before we continue the story, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Now, let's continue the story. Daniel is not in this part of the story. The Bible does not say why, so a lot of people believe that he was not in Babylon during this time. King Nebuchadnezzar decided to build a statue just like the one in his dream. The only difference was that it was fully gold. The king ordered that all the rulers and officials of Babylon attend a ceremony for the statue. This included Daniel's three friends, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The king also ordered that when the music played to bow down to the statue, and if they didn't, they would be thrown into a fire. As soon as the music played, everybody bowed down to the idol. Well, everyone except Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The king's astrologers told the king that the three Hebrew boys were not bowing, and the king was furious. The king ordered that the boys be brought to him. Then, he gave them one more chance to bow down to the statue, or else he would throw them into the fire. But the men said that the god they served was able to deliver them from the fire, and even if he didn't, they would never bow down to the statue. Nebuchadnezzar ordered that the fire be lit seven times hotter than it was. Then, the guards threw the men into the fire, but the fire was so hot that the heat killed the men that threw them in. Then the king asked his servants, Didn't you throw three men into the fire? And the servants said yes. Then the king said, Then how come I see four men in the fire, and the fourth one looks like the Son of God? Then the king told the three Hebrew boys to come out the fire, and when they came out, they had no burns, their clothes weren't burnt, and they weren't even warm. The king said, Praise the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who protected the servants from the fire, and the servants risked their lives to stay true to their God. Then the king commanded that anyone who speaks against their God will be ripped from limb to limb and their house will be burned down. Then the king promoted the three Hebrew boys. But the story still isn't over yet. Make sure to turn on your post notifications so you know when part 4 comes out. Now it's time to reflect on what we learned. Today, we learned that with God, all things are possible, and to always have faith in God. Thanks for joining us on Kids Matter. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you learned. See you next time!